Good morning and happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to honeycombfit.com, the place for health and wellness. Today, we're going to do my plyometric boot camp. I'm going to pick some of my favorite signature moves, some of them you know, maybe some of them you don't know. We're going to add some other things in there. What is plyometric, first and foremost? Plyometrics are jump training. Great for agility, great for strength, increased strength, endurance, speed, overall wellness, right? You don't need to be an extreme athlete to do plyometrics. Now, does that mean everyone is meant to do plyometrics? Absolutely not, right? Make sure you've got medical clearance if there are any health issues you have, safety first here, and knees or back, any issue, right? You're gonna modify or eliminate the jump, but that doesn't mean you can't do the move. Right? Watch what I'm doing. I'll try to break it down. Use your intelligence. I don't want anyone getting hurt. The idea behind plyometrics, pushing yourself past perceived limitations. I know you've got this. I know you can do it. This is our fifth day together. I know you. I feel you. Let's get sweaty. All right, we're gonna start with some skater jumps. Nice and easy, just come kind of side to side. If you can do it, if not, if you're not gonna leave the ground, just step side to side. Core is engaged, my mind is engaged, mind and body, and I'm gonna pick it up just a little bit and reach down. Great for my legs, great for my quads, my glutes, my inner thighs. Get my heart rate up a little bit and reach, and reach, and reach. Good, all right. We're gonna do three sets. This is gonna be a whole circuit. I'm gonna break it down and talk in between. If you're doing it on your own, three sets, minimum 10 repetitions each exercise. Again, modify if you need to modify, but keep your body moving. Exercise for me, inclusive. So, no age limit, no fitness level limit. Make it work for you. All right, put the eight toe squats. You've seen me do them, I think they're amazing for your inner thighs and for your glutes. But what if I said to you, as you're going down, add a hop. It adds a whole different element, much more intensive, there's explosive movements in my quads, my inner thighs, and my glutes. My heart rate for sure. I got five, four, three, two, and one. That's good, right? A very basic move. Ply moves can be done anywhere, anytime. That's the beauty of them. Body weight resistance, right? I'm not using any weights. I had mentioned dumbbells, no dumbbells today. At some point, you want to add a medicine bowl, some weights to it. You don't need to do it. It's very effective. All right, my oldest, my most famous, and the most dear to my heart, my sumo lunge, sidekick, frog jump. You've seen it, it's been everywhere. We're gonna do it now. We break it down. We got a big roundhouse, we're gonna work it out of thighs and the butt, big side, sidekick, and a squat jump. You can all do that. A big roundhouse, sidekick, and if you can't jump, it's reach up and go up on those toes, right? So we got 10 that side, I'm gonna come right here and side kick and working the legs, the glutes, the core, the heart, everything is connected, everything is feeling alive. Let's do one more inside. Remember, you're gonna do 10 repetitions and I want you to keep on doing it. Keep on going guys. I'm gonna to talk to you, I wanna say good morning, see who's here, see who's joined me. We got a good little crowd picking up here. I love it. We've got somebody from Australia, somebody from Germany. Amazing, right? The ability to reach out and touch all of you guys. You're, you have three more each side on the sumo lunge, guys. Nice and high. You want higher, tighter, but it's all in here, right? We'll show you again. So beautiful. Side kick. 
And so I'm not lopsided right there. Okay, so a couple of changes here, right? Somebody mentioned about the water bottles. And I was like, you know what? You're 100% right. Plastic water bottles, no good. So I got my Corsico bottle now. No more water bottles. So when I mentioned using hand weights, right? Or water bottles, no more water bottles. I got cans of organic, of course, organic tomatoes. And we'll use those, right? So if I were to hold this, when I did my plie tongue squat, I got a little extra weight and a little more focus on my core. And I'm saving the oceans and the environment. I'll put it right down. All right, platypus walk. We've seen them. Franny does them, Amelia's done them, JLo has done them. So we were down. The funniest one, of course, was Dr. Oz doing it. He didn't exactly get the full move down. So here you are, right? I'm coming forward, I'm coming back. Now, stay here, and I'm gonna add that five, two, four, five, and go back. Two, three. Four, woohoo! One, two, three, four. Da, da, da. I want you to go three forward, three back, jumps. If you can't jump, go up, up on those toes. We need a little more, we need a little more energy. That's better, right? How's everybody feeling? Bonnie, are you moving? Let's go. I had questions about. If there were age limitations to my exercise, no, I'm not age biased at all. Whether you're 15 or you're 85, get up and move your body, right? No reason not to do it. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel alive, it makes you feel connected, that's what it's about. So mom, I know you're watching. Find something to do and move that body. You can better for it. Okay, box jumps. All right, here we go. You were taught not to jump on your furniture, right? There are no rules in my living room. Anything goes during quarantine. We're jumping. We're jumping on everything. So find something to jump on that's sturdy. Explosive jumps with your legs, right? They make your quad stronger, your glutes stronger, your hamstrings stronger, your core stronger. Susan, you'll be faster in the pool. Uncle Joel, you'll be racing in the, in the swimming pool. You'll be racing down the road. You'll be invincible, right? So that's whether you're 70 or 17. My workouts, everything about honeycombfit.com, inclusive, not exclusive. I want to wrap everybody in. There's family wellness here, right? United, together, strong, at home. That's what it's about. Okay, so we've got your plie toe squats. We have your sumo lunge. We have your platypus walk. We've added a little plyo to it. You're gonna do three sets as a circuit. And if you can't do all of these exercises, break it down. Break it down into two or three, add them to your routine. Susan, Joel, do it before you get in the pool. Do one or two of these. Guarantee your body's gonna be awake and moving away that it didn't do before. Nice and tight. 
core is tight. Heart rate is up. I feel amazing. It's been an awesome week. Connecting with each and every one of you. You're doing a great job. I'm gonna have a sip of water. Oh boy. Take a second to catch your breath if you need to. No questions. Don't be shy. No question is a dumb question, guys. I want to hear it. I want to see it. I want to feel you guys. Elise in Pennsylvania. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's see. What do we have here? Bulgarian squats, split squats. We've done them, right? Now I'm going to anchor in my front heel. I'm going back. Here we go. And a little hop. Awesome, guys. Working your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your core, right? Your core is keeping you upright, strong, focused. Everything is connected. Everything is alive. You're blessed. You're grateful. We're here. We're healthy. We're together. I love it. Get yourself set, right? No mindless movements. Five more repetitions. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out a little bit. A little sip of water. Remember, no mindless workouts, right? So you gotta set yourself. Make sure you're anchoring in your heel. We're doing a lot of lower body. When you're doing your jump squats, you're pushing off from your feet and you're landing nice and strong back in your heels. No pressure on your knees. If you can't do a full jump, you're gonna reach up nice and high up on those toes and go right back down, right? Break it down, find a way to move your body. And push up for the clap. Push-ups are clap too much, then get down a push-up and lift one arm up. We can all do that, right? One arm up, really forcing you to put all the energy in the resting hand down there, in the anchor hand, and in your core, right? So find a way to move and get it done, right? It's gonna make you feel empowered, right? Exercise is energizing, empowering, sometimes educating, right? I'm gonna teach you something and you're gonna file it here. And what I love to hear from people that watch me and follow me and work out with me is, you know what, David? I was working out the other day and I heard your brain, I heard your, your voice in my, in my head telling me to anchor in my heel or put my brain in my butt, right? Or keep my core engaged. Or do I have two right angles as I should have two right angles when I'm lunging, switch lunging, anything like that. My Bulgarian squat, my knee in line with my heel, right? So I'm not gonna hurt my knee. All of those things. It's not just talk, guys. I wanna, I wanna make you healthy, healthier, the best that you can be, right? And I want you to have the tools and the confidence and the knowledge so you can do this on your own. That's the beauty of really training and teaching and empowering, right? Giving you the tools and confidence. You always need to be with me. I'll miss you if I don't see you. But I want, I want to know that I've left you with everything you need so you can have the most amazing body, the most amazing energy, the most incredible life. That's the goal here, right? That's the goal. Okay. So. We've done box jumps, we've done 
push-ups with claps. We've done sumo lunges. We've done skater hops. We've done hopping Bulgarian squats. And I think we need to do a couple more. We're gonna do some switch lunges. These are great, these are hard if you can do it. So you start in a lunge position. You're gonna come down, anchoring in your front heel. And you're gonna come down and hop it up. This is a good song for two, right? Right here. I'm going to circle. I want you all to see it, right? All the different angles. Core, core. That's it. Right? Again, if you're not ready to hop, your knees tell you no, your back tells you no, you come down. It can be a partial lunge. Bring it down and up on those toes. Drive that energy up through your feet. Really attack it, attack it. You make every rep every repetition count. Plyometric for me, right? You don't have to jump, but you gotta give me 500% of your energy, 500% maximum energy and exert all the time, right? No walking through exercise. No walking through life. We have one moment, we have one life, we gotta make it the best, right? All right, so go back. We're gonna do a reverse lunge and a kick and a hop. So we got a reverse lunge, kick, and hop. I'm doing a lot here, right? I'm working my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads. The hop is adding a little extra bounce and energy to my legs. Better endurance, faster, done in small circuits. That's the idea, maximum effort, small circuits. So if you did a circuit of two or three of these exercises, as a circuit, no rest in between, then take a minute and repeat it. Add a couple of things. Do the, here's the sofa, right? I'm down on my sofa. I'm gonna do some, some plyo push-ups. There we go, nice and tight. So easy, right? Just find a place to do it. Find a place to take what you think you can do and raise it up one level, two levels. Every time, push yourself faster, harder, go stronger, longer, and you'll benefit from it, right? Look, the idea of making gains with exercise, right, is pushing yourself past your perceived limitations. We all have that. We all suffer with self-doubt and moments of, of unsurety. Um, I certainly have those days today. Getting ready to do my pull-ups. I'm only at 60 right now. Um, that first pull-up was, oh my God, I can't do it. Um, just getting getting my shorts on and doing that first 10 repetitions made me feel awake, made me feel a little more powerful and definitely a little more positive. It's Friday. We've had five days of exercise, right? All right, let's do... Um, Let's do, let's do another platypus walk because I love those, right guys? So take it down, but I want to see everyone getting down, right? So you're down here, go wiggle it out a little bit, right? Come on, give it a little wiggle, right? Get it down, 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 okay? All right, and let's change it up, right? Let's go like this. I haven't done this, it's the first time I've done it. I like this one. It's not exactly a platypus walk. I'm gonna say it's a it's a frenetic frog jump. Here you go in your heels. I'm gonna do it three more times. But too many people just sitting there watching me. So let's go and take it back. one of the more famous plyometric moves, right? That nobody likes to do, except for Francesca. Um, 
We're gonna finish with burpees and Spider-Man push-ups. I'm gonna start back here, so you got the full effect of it. I'm down. Let's do that, okay? Burpees, core, arms, chest, back, butt, and up. One more time, okay guys? Take it down, kick it out. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Core, oblique, hop. Okay, if somebody were to ask me what I like most about being part of Honeycomb Fit, honeycomb.fit, right? I'd say it's everything health and wellness. It's totally inclusive, right? The idea that my girls, 10 years old, are gonna get something about this. They're gonna learn even more than they already know. Things they can do to stay on top of their game. They'll be sharper in school, more focused. They'll have great energy. They'll run faster. They'll play soccer better. They'll hit the tennis ball better. Swim harder, all of these things, right? And as we get older, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond, movement, exercise is something that's so vitally important. Move your body, keep it moving. Keep it connected to your mind. Keep it alive. Fuel it with amazing food, energizing food. Today, I have my vitamins I'm gonna share. I had a little treat. I went to Italy, this amazing Italian uh, grocery store in New York City, in Flatiron. And uh, I went out yesterday masked, and I got, they had this amazing rustic olive bread. Um, and I had a tiny slice of that with a little fresh almond butter and a double espresso. So if I seem a little more jacked today, it could be the bread, it could be the espresso, it could be the fact that I'm just so happy to be here with you um, every morning, right? Sharing my passion for health, wellness, movement, um, it's all there, right? Fitness, again, all inclusive, regardless of your age, regardless of your fitness level, you can do it. I'm here for a few more minutes, so if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them and share them with everyone. Sylvia, thank you. I so appreciate your love, Sylvia, in Germany. Um, I've got Michelle in Panama, and I've got somebody in Dubai. Dubai, props up to Dubai, I love it. I can't tell you how excited I am that I've reached across the globe, right? Germany, Switzerland, Italy, yesterday, Milano, Dubai, Panama, South America, my dear friend Schneider in Brazil, people all over the place. Canada, it's great, right? Fitness, wellness, totally inclusive, right? Regardless of where you are, we're home. We're united, we're strong, we're staying safe. Honeycomb Fit is all about that, right? Together, united, strong. Being the best that you can be, I know, I feel, eight weeks into this quarantine, and I kid you not, I feel fitter and more connected, mind and body, than I have in years. I've taken the opportunity, and I'll encourage you all to take the opportunity this weekend, it's Friday, right? Um, to really focus on the things that you enjoy most about being at home with yourself, with your family, um, and really take a moment to connect to yourself and focus on the things that most matter to you. The urgent, the important, really edit it out and really make the most of every moment you have. We don't know what tomorrow brings, we know what today is. Grasp it today, push it today, be your best you today and always. And I will always be here. You know I am, we know where I am on Instagram, at David Kirsch. Right now I'm at honeycomb.fit, the amazing destination for health and wellness. I love you guys, happy Friday. I'll see you at 5.30 for a well-deserved 
back and stretching and relaxation. I know I need it. If you did this workout, if you're gonna continue to do this workout, you're gonna need it also. So I'll see you later. Have an awesome day. Be safe, be healthy, be kind.